Hey there, YouTube. MFK. How are we doing today? Uh, it's Anthony here. One of my favorite parts about keeping cichlids is, uh, you know, buying six. That's what they say, six is the magic number, right? Of uh, cichlids and growing them out and watching their behavior, letting them pair off, and then spawning them. Well, I've done that here. Anybody who knows me knows that I like to keep, uh, keep my tanks to a biotope type tank. And uh, in this case, this is a Lake Nicaraguan tank. I have seven um, Amphilophus SP Red Isletus. And I have six Hypsophorus Nicaraguensis. Uh, that's a lot of sissises, right? Um, anyways. I'm uh, mostly putting together a video because I've gotten to the point now where some of these fish that uh, a lot of them were three-quarter inch, uh, well, the Isletus were all three-quarter inch and the, the um, Nicaraguensis were about an inch, inch and a half, and, and now some of the bigger ones are pushing close to six inches, maybe five and a half, six inches. And I know I'm going to have to start weaning stuff out, but... Um, I just kind of wanted to make a video so I could look back on on this tank. Just like I said, it's one of my favorite parts is growing growing out the fish and uh, watching them as they develop. Uh, they go through the different color changes, different pattern changes, behavioral changes as they try to decide who's going to be the top dog in the tank. I'd like to kind of zoom in on some of the fish that I'm quite sure I'm going to be getting rid of here. It's one of my subdom male Nicaraguensis. That one I'm going to keep, I think. It's a bigger one. There's my dominant Nick. I'm going to keep that guy. He's gorgeous. Over here we've got a female Isletus coming into the shot. She's the top girl fish in the tank. And then her male is right here. They're always together, but for some reason right now they're not. Uh, I'm really happy with these guys. They've, they've just been a blast to grow out. And I've got you know some stunning, stunning fish that I'm going to be getting rid of here soon. Like this guy, he's definitely a subdom male, beautiful finnage, developing a little hump. Uh, doesn't quite compare to the fins or the hump on this guy, but he's the dominant one in the tank. And it's nice to see these guys battle out for that top dog position and then, and then watch as their humps kind of swell and their nuchal humps swell and go down and swell and go down as they, as they try to get that spot. Um... But I'm definitely going to, ooh, got some action. <laughs> definitely going to be getting rid of some of these fish soon. I'd like to eventually take this 150-gallon tank down to uh, probably two pairs, one pair of Islitis, one pair of Nicaraguensis, and maybe a odd Nicaraguensis or two and an odd Islitis. Haven't quite decided exactly what I'm going to do, but it would be nice to just have uh, one pair of each and a, a really good-looking Islitus and a really good-looking Nicaraguensis in here, maybe both males or both females. Probably males. Nah, males get too big. Probably females. Females will be a little bit smaller. Uh, just kind of keep the attention of the Nicks and the Islitus off of each other, and they can target the uh, the dither fish or whatever. 150-gallon tank. That doesn't seem too too overstocked. Most of these guys stay supposed to stay about 10 inches, so... Um, I guess they probably have the potential of hitting 12, but we'll have to see. Time will tell, and th things will change, I'm sure, in the future. But for right now, a 150-gallon tank with uh, seven, seven Islitas and six Nicaraguensis is going to be thinned down. Just take a second. These are just really, really good-looking fish. I'm, I'm really happy with them. They have been... Just loads of fun. Loads of fun. I've kept Nicks before. Never tried to spawn them. Never tried to grow them out to adult. Usually once they hit about this size, I'll have a friend that I'll just give them to or something. I, I don't know why I've never tried to take them all the way, but I'm going to take them all the way this time. Um, anyways, thank you, MFK, and thank you, YouTube. Anybody who follows me on YouTube, I don't have that many, but a couple, uh, for watching my video. I appreciate it a lot, and let's go out with this guy. And this guy.
Uh, well, I guess we'll look at the female as lead us. There he goes. Alright. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it.